Why is salvation so difficult when it seems easy and simple? It's a free gift and not of works and not of yourselves. So referencing Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. And Jesus said, for all who labor and are heavy laden, come to me for rest. But you also need to enter by the narrow gate and make every effort to enter through the narrow door. Wow, this is a phenomenal question. I think the reason why often salvation is described as a difficult thing is because by nature it is impossible to go to heaven. So there are two ways of going to heaven. One is you never sin and you're perfect. So unfortunately, Romans, you get the idea that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory, glory of God, Romans 3. So, so because of that, that option is no longer available. So therefore, it's impossible. So on the other hand, Christ makes it very accessible for us to be saved, namely that we just trust in what he did for us, that he died and resurrected for us. And uh, by doing, you know, by, by doing that, that changes us and, and we, we uh, conform to a life of repentance in Christ. I think the point of the narrow gate and the narrow door is that most people don't want Jesus. Most people want to live how they want to live. And most people just want to be the authority of their lives, even though what they choose for themselves is less than what their lives could otherwise be in Christ, which is a life of infinite joy, peace, love, etc. Which is kind of funny because a lot of people spend a fortune on therapy, big houses, really nice vacations, and they have to keep paying for these things, alcohol, food, whatever, in order to keep feeling fulfilled. But in Christ, we have this satisfaction. And when you have that sense of satisfaction, you don't really have um, to hunger after those things in a way that the world tries to provide, but it never really fully satisfies you. So most people don't want Christ, so therefore they will have they will go down the broad way. But at the same time, Christ makes it very easy for for anyone to come to faith in him uh, by trusting in what he has done for us. Keep it dank, not a request. <laughs>